Hi, let's get started with our new section. In this video, I want to talk about the data-driven customer segmentation. So in marketing, we often try to understand the behavior of certain subgroups of customer base, especially in the target marketing. Marketers try to segment the customer base based on based in certain ways and focus on each target segment or customer group. This concentration on certain target customer segment results in better performance as the needs and interests of those customers in the target group align and match better with the business products, services, or content. In this section, we are going to dive deeper into the concept concept of customer segmentation. We will discuss what customer segmentation is, the importance and benefits of having a good understanding of different segments of the customer base and how to utilize customer segment analysis results for different marketing strategies. Aside from a more traditional way of segmenting the customer base, which involves looking at the case statistic of certain attributes of customer and manually cutting the customer base into segments. We can also use machine learning to, to help machines find the best ways to split the customer base into the desired number of segments. So in this section, we'll learn how to use the K-means clustering algorithm to build the customer segments based on the historical data. So now is the time to talk about customer segmentation. So given today's competition within the market, it is critical to understand the different behaviors, type, and interests of customers, especially in targeted marketing. Understanding and categorizing customers is an essential step in forming effective marketing strategies. By segmenting the customer base, marketers can focus on one segment of customers at a time. It also helps marketers to tailor their marketing messages to one specific audience at a time. Customer segmentation is the backbone of successful targeted marketing with which you can target specific groups of customers with different price, pricing options promotion and product placement that capture the interests of the target audience in the most cost-effective way. Any business or industry can benefit from a better understanding of different customer segments. For example, television advertisements are, that are broadcast across over the USA for an outerwear brand that sells winter clothes such as parkas, snow boots, and hats would not be so cost effective. People residing in areas that never really get cold, such as Florida, South California, or Hawaii, would most likely not be interested in purchasing winter clothes. However, people residing in areas with cold winter, such as Alaska, Minnesota or North Dakota would most likely want to buy clothes that keep them warm. So for the outerwear brand, instead of sending out marketing mails or emails to own of their customers, it would be better to target those segments of customer based on their geographic information that live in places where they would need winter clothes more frequently than other customers. As an another example, if you own a rental building near a college, you may want to target your customer based on their age and education, marketing to customers between 20 and 30 and who are attending surrounding colleges will have higher return than marketing to others for hotel businesses. You may want to target those couples who have upcoming anniversaries for romantic package deals using a social media platform such as Facebook or Instagram. You can target this segment of customers. 
As we briefly discussed these three cases, understanding your customer and which segment describes them the best can help you to develop effective and efficient marketing strategies. When segmenting the customer base sub into subgroups, you can use certain characteristics and their statistics. However, when you are trying to segment your customers with multiple attributes, it becomes exponentially more difficult. Now is the time to talk about clustering algorithm. So clustering algorithm are frequently used in marketing for customer segmentation. This is a method of unsupervised learning that learns the common commonalities between groups from data. Unlike supervised learning, where there is a target and a label variable that you would like to predict, unsupervised learning learns from the data without any target or label variable. Among numerous other clustering algorithms, we are trying to explore the usage of k-means clustering algorithm in this section. So the k-means clustering algorithm splits the records in the data into a predefined number of clusters, where the data points within each cluster are close to each other. In order to group similar records together, the k-means clustering algorithm tries to find the centroid which are the centers or means of clusters to minimize the distances between the data points and the centroids within the cluster. So the objective equation is like that. So you get a sum from i equals 0 to n, where is a mean function. It will be mu j belong to c, and then we got x i minus mu j square. So this is taken from the K-Mean Cycle Learn website and the link is here. So let's explain what does the variable from the equation mean. So here n is the number of records in the data set, xi is the i data point and c is the number of cluster and mu j is the j centroid. So one downside or difficulty of using case means clustering for customer segmentation is that is the fact that you, know, you need to know the number of cluster beforehand. However, quite often you do not know what is the optimal number of clusters to create. The C-House coefficient can be used to evaluate and help you make decisions on what the best number of clusters will be for your segmentation problem. So simply put the seal house coefficient measures how close the data points are to the cluster compared to other cluster. So the equation is shown like that. So we got x equal b minus a and divide by the max a and b. So let's explain some of the variable in the uh, equation. So we got here B either is the average of the distance between the point and its closest cluster, and A is the average distance among the data points within the same cluster. The seal house coefficient value ranges from negative one to one, where the closer the values are to one, the better they are. So in the following programming exercises, we will, we will be segmenting the customer base from our data set using the k-means clustering algorithm and the seal house state coefficient and that is all in this video so i hope you enjoy it and i will see you in the next video